Using easy security light to maintain users uh, allow you several functions that are not normally available. You can copy access controls from one user to another. You can also add multiple permission sets, um, both for one company or for multiple companies. And we have availability to actually revert changes um, by using the snapshot feature inside easy security also. But well, let's uh, take a look at this one in uh, 2013 or 2 in here. If I go to Easy Security Lite, we've already run the install or setup tool, so we can just go right to the users in here. In here, we have an action ability to actually add your action controls in here. And if I take a look at Susan first before I do that, I'll see that uh, she already has several permissions down here for the sales receivable area but for the blank company in here. So if I wanted to add more access controls, I could go in and say, let's go down here and add, I want to include um, some of the access controls for journals in here. I want to have my customer edit also, and I want to be able to look at posted documents. As I click OK on the first screen, come up with a list of companies where I can select one or more companies. If I don't want to select any companies, I can actually hit cancel and then it will be for the blank company. Let me go ahead and do that one. Now I'd say that three of those ones actually already exist. So I can click yes. And it's going to add the other ones down here to the list actually. So I get the new permissions uh, added for the user down here. So if I can get a little more to show up down here. But I can see my journals and things got added in here. If I use the same function again, and let's just go in and um, take a look at finding some of the other ones, just a single role in here, for example. Just have the customer. And um, I then want to go in and add it for a company. <laughs> it say there's nothing to insert in here because that role already exists with the blank company in here. So there's really no reason to add it again for a specific company in here. That's really why I came up and say there's nothing to add in here. And the other thing is, if I create a new user in here, and I'll create a new user in here called uh, Simon. Oops. And um, I normally have to type in all these role company combinations, but I can actually copy them from another user in here. So as I create a Simon, I can go in here and say I want to copy it from Susan. I can say if I only wanted certain role IDs, certain companies and so on, but I actually want all of them in here. I can also go in and say if I want to add new or replace. So right now I'm just adding to a new user. But if I wanted to completely replace, I could actually have two users, two or more users be the same maintain one and just every time copy and replace to the other ones out there. Let's go ahead and say, okay, it added 10 access controls for me in here. Of course, the same that was actually in here uh, for Susan, for example. So that's um, the things you can actually do in here. If I go create another snapshot in here, and let's just go create another one in here. I'll see I had a few more records in here. And that actually means I can go back now, look at Susan that I changed in here. And if I look at Susan right now, and the snapshots of her, I can see there was to, used to be a snapshot number one that had seven records in it. Right now there's 10 in here, but there's also another one with 10 and that's the one I just created in here. So I can actually roll back Susan's to an earlier point in here and it's a, yep, I want to overwrite them. And I can now see I have seven live access controls. In here. So you can roll back a user's access controls simply by using the snapshot in here. I can, of course, roll them forward again in here and say, no, I actually want to restore these access controls. And now Susan got the 10 back in here. So uh, these features allow you a simple way of dealing with adding new users and adding many access controls, meaning permission sets come uh, divide or per company in here. So uh, 
that's the features that ECS Security Lite allow you for handling users in here.